this is Denim Darlin and today I am taking you guys on another little adventure. So I am headed right now to my favorite Red Wing authorized retailer store and the reason I really wanted to do this is because I know a lot of you out there purchase boots from the internet and you don't really know what's awaiting you if you decided to go into a Red Wing store or an authorized Red Wing dealer. And I think it's a great experience, especially for first time buyers. And the reason it is, is because sizing is so important. Uh, sizing could make or break your Red Wing experience. If you purchase the wrong size, it could, it could turn out to be an awful experience and you might never do it again. So I really wanna show you guys why this is my favorite store. It's a mom and pop owned store. Uh, they've been in business for many years and we're about to meet Walter. Uh, Walter is phenomenal. Uh, it's a father and son owned business and they're great people, really down to earth human beings. And as you all know, I love supporting small businesses. So let's check it out. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is Walter. Uh, Walter, I was telling them that this is a father and son operating right now. Yep, that's right. How long have you guys been in business for? We've probably been in business here, I gotta say it's just been around 40 years. 40 years? Yeah, since I was just a kid. And it's all Red Wing and Red Wing branded products. It's a Red Wing Work, Red Wing Heritage, uh, Basque, and Iris Setter. And Iris Setter is pretty exciting right now because they're making a lot of products that aren't just related to hunting. It's shifted over to work boots too. And so they're doing pretty great, great out in the work field, you know? That's so awesome. Um, I was, uh, I really wanted to come visit you. Thank you for letting me be here today. And oh, you're welcome. Me this. You're um, always welcome here, Anna. <laughs> thank you. You sell more, the only person selling more boots than me is you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Walter. What I would love you to do is just uh, I know my size and you know my size, but can you just take me through the fitting process, what you bring customers through? Sure. So people know the importance of getting fitted properly? Sure. First, I, I try to get some information, like um, how they might wear the shoe, if they're going to wear thicker socks, which is usually the case, at least a little bit thicker than your athletic shoes. And then I try to get a, a sense of athletic shoe sizing because we've had a history in the athletic shoe market. I'm a sneaker collector and a boot collector, so I really know the sizes how they how they vary between brands and so i try to get that sense from the customers that come in we do fittings on a brannock device this is just a classic old school brannock device this is cool because it has the old red wing logos on there and then so and but what we do is we ask you to put your right heel over there in the right heel so you should actually stand up and We'll see here that you crawl over the size four in overall length. And then this, this is a, a men's scale, but what we do here is we would get your arch length. This would measure your arch length, which is from your heel to the ball of your foot here. And you come up a little bit longer here, which is pretty normal. Uh, this number is usually longer than this num number here. Width wise, we would get that off of this scale here and in this case, it would be uh, about a regular. And the thing with the width and heritage, the, they make the boots mostly in mediums. It's, it isn't until you get into the men's boots that they make medium and wides. We can translate this into women's sizes. Uh, it's about two sizes off, so I would probably put you somewhere starting out in a six. But the best thing to do is try on the individual boots because all the boots are made off of different last numbers. Uh, though it's all Red Wing, a mock toe will fit differently than an Iron Ranger because they're different styles. And the consensus has been this, this one's a little bit bigger than these. And, but it's usually not a, like such a great difference that it's like everyone's buying this in a, a larger numerical size. You'll find that a lot of people will buy the same size, but let's say maybe 40% of the time 
they'll buy this in a half size bigger. But it, it'll vary to individual, and that's why we say it's really important to try them on. It's really hard to buy the right size the first time without trying them on in the store. You know? Yeah, so you're 100% accurate on that because I actually always buy my uh, Iron Rangers and Silversmiths in a six and a half, and my Moxos in a six. Yeah. So one time I purchased um, my Silversmiths, the second pair in a size six. I've been suffering through oh, the break no. like suffering. I know it'll end up fitting nicely, but I wonder do people really want to suffer that much? Whereas in my six and a half, it was a much easier break in. Some people have dead feet. Like they could just shove their foot in something and then just stretch it out. <laughs> but unless you're that person, yeah, I would agree with you. I don't try to, I wouldn't try to push it. Stretch, that's actually a common mistake is like a lot of people will try to get in front of the stretch, you know, especially like guys trying to buy like the classic mock. They might, they might be a sneaker ten and a half, and they're trying to fit. Like they've noticed a little lift in the heel, and they go down like a half size nine and a half. Still feels a little roomy, so they go down to a nine, which I understand from maybe like a ten. But by the time you get to let's say an eight and a half, you're a size and a half smaller than your sneaker size, and that's generally off. You should generally be about half a size to a whole size within your sne common sneaker size. That makes yeah. Sense. yeah. May I try the Iron Ranger, the black one? And yeah, the six side. and a half. Yes, please. All right, okay, let me grab that. So this is the Iron Ranger in black boundary leather. I do not own this one, and I've been curious to try it. So I'm just gonna try it on right now. I am not buying a pair of boots today. I just thought it was a lot of fun to show you guys my favorite shop and to, to go through the fitting process. So we said about a six off the, the Brannock measure. But yeah, this one I think six and a half might be better because the Iron Ranger runs a little smaller. Sometimes when you do try the same size in uh, different box from different boxes, they will fit differently. Dang, these already feel so nice. This do is they? dangerous, okay. Walter. <laughs> I think I already want them. Okay, we'll sell them to you. This Anna. happens every time I come here. You're like a magician. Yes, that's why we let you in the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Tell me these are beautiful. All right, I lied. I might be buying something today. <laughs> so nice. Oh my goodness. Yeah, oh goodness. This is dangerous. This is the meat. They literally feel like they fit like a glove already. Yeah, they're very shiny. Yeah, they're very sharp looking. They are. That's the Red Heritage line. I, I love how simple it is. It's just kind of, you know, it's like, the archetype of boot, you know? What should I be feeling for in the boots? Um, how would I know it fits right? So the first thing I would ask people to do is pace back and forth a little bit in the store and walk around in them. Uh, you should be aware of a little bit of heel slippage. That's not a sign that the boot is too big. It's just a sign that the sole is pretty stiff early on. And then until you flex the the boot across the spade, which which is basically this part of the shoe, the widest part of the shoe. Like until this breaks, you will feel a little bit of heel lift. And that's why a lot of people think their shoes are too big. That's why they think they're they're a little too big. That does happen a lot, you know. That's that's why it's like you well, when I'm explaining the whole sizing down from sneakers, well, not to get so too far, you know, like a size and a half is kind of too far. Um, most people are just a half size smaller and then what would we say like maybe 20% of the time they get a uh, whole size down but what it is is it's exactly that this part of the shoe is stiff so when you're about in, when you're in your stride and you're, you're about to lift your foot off the ground this isn't flexing so easily so your heel will lift up off the back of the shoe um, the other thing that you'll notice so when you're standing on them they should be comfortable they shouldn't be painful they feel you know? great you really want to try to avoid getting your toes too far up in the front of the shoe. That's that's why we were mentioning that the arch length. So I always suggest to customers too, by the way, you want to come in with your, the sock that you intend to wear with them. Uh, there's This is just a leather footbed. So if you intend to wear insoles, to bring in insoles as well. And then also uh, maybe even bring in your favorite pair of shoes that you wear, like sneakers or otherwise. I try to avoid bringing in flip-flops, you know, because the flip-flop, if we were making some comparisons to the shoe that they're coming in with, it's hard to make comparisons to the, the sandal. You know? Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. 
Those are great tips, Walter. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, you're welcome. It's my pleasure. So these just feel perfect right now on me. Uh, my pinky okay. toe feels like it's right about here. Okay. So and my big toe's right about there. What should I be feeling? Okay, so like, let's say I'm gonna like look at your foot with my X-ray vision here. <laughs> but so if let's say your pinky toe is the side of your pinky toe is like right about in that area, mm -hmm. and then so kind of in between this area, it should be where like the what would we say your pinky knuckle should be right there yes. and then so the pad behind your pinky toe the main pad of your foot behind your pinky toe should be right about there where this boot flares out here wow that's and exactly where i feel it is it okay yeah. good and then so and then similarly the ball of your big toe so your big toes here the ball the pad behind your big toe should come right out at this flare and so then if we're saying like that's the widest part of your foot fitting in the widest part of the shoe mm -hmm. that you are now like lined up correctly in the shoe and that this is likely be the right size. I think this boot was made for me, Walter. Okay. <laughs> dangerously comfortable. This leather is phenomenal, ladies. Black boundary leather, very supple. I'm in heaven right now. And the cushion underneath is so nice. We have that nice. extra pour on padding underneath the yeah. women's line. Yeah, the women, the, the ladies are lucky. They have that pad in there on the bottom. So, so it gives it a little bit more cushion. The women's are a little bit lighter, um, even to scale, than the men's, you know? So uh, we used to carry, the men's used to go down to a four, which is like a woman's six, six and a half. And that would actually be, it would be a little bit heavier, you know? But it's the great thing about the new women's line is they're, they're, they're correctly lighter than the men's. Wow, you know? exactly. awesome. Well, thank you very much, Walter. This You're, has been a great experience. You're welcome. Thank you. It's always a pleasure to see you guys. Thank you. And, and fit you. <laughs> well, <laughs> I said I wasn't going to get a pair for myself, but I couldn't help it. So That's what she always says. <laughs> we love her. <laughs> okay, let's take you over here. And I'll have an unboxing video coming soon. Thank you, Walter, You're very for all your welcome. help, all the time, and your patience. Oh, it's no patience. This is. What would, I, what would I do without you guys coming in? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And I didn't say, but uh, Walter Shop is located in Chinatown, uh, really close to the Placito Olvera. Really easy to find for you guys in LA. Yep, and if you guys want, there's local barbecue right, right around the corner oh, too, right so there. you can make it a whole afternoon thing. Okay, so here we go. Bye, thank you again. Bye, see you. Nice.